Well, thank you, first of all, because clearly I'm fooling everyone and thinking I'm confident. I certainly wasn't at the time, trust me. Um, so I guess I have to start with adaptability. So this is the main thing my parents instilled in me. We moved countries, we moved house, we moved schools. Um, and that happened almost every other year, moving school or moving house because of the nature of uh, my parents' jobs. And I went from going to a really awful school in South East London to a girls' grammar school where they played lacrosse. I didn't fit in. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, all of a sudden, my really good grades relative to the students in South East London were now rubbish. And I had to adapt and I had to learn quickly. And, I, and it, it's a competitive field, right? So, you, And I, the nature in me is, I do want to be as best as I can be. I know I won't be the best, but maybe I can be better than who I was last year. So my parents always instilled in me that you should be able to fit in anywhere. And if you don't, that might be a problem with you, and not necessarily with everyone else. Very harsh outlook, very old school. Um, you know, maybe some parts of that sort of thinking I'll take forward when I have kids, but actually a lot of parts of it are flawed. But the positives of it are is that I've become somebody who can adapt to change and maybe resilient as well. Um, yeah, there are things that scare me to this day. You know, before joining this podcast, I felt the nerves, let alone, you know, walking into a new role, etc. So, yeah, things do scare me. But my mum always said, you know, you should be like a swan on the outside. You know, even if that brain of yours is thinking and paddling underneath, just try and glide it through, think properly before you speak, etc., etc. So I think it's those kind of skills that were instilled in us from when we were younger that give the illusion that we're confident, but actually inside, you know, we, there is a lot going on. But these days I would encourage anyone to really talk through any worries that they have and communicate. And I had a good support network, you know, I was very close to other trainees. My supervisor was great, I kept in touch with her. Um, I know people in my family that are pharmacists and healthcare professionals, I could speak openly with them. And Google is great. You can search pretty much anything. So there's a lot of places to turn to. And of course, you know, companies like the MPA, et cetera, um, the likes of that. So but you should never sort of avoid gaps in your knowledge or you know, put problems under the carpet, but certainly addressing them in your own time is important too. Um, and I guess that's what we were taught to do is, you know, don't necessarily speak sort of without the confidence and knowledge to speak. And that meant that you always sort of came across assured of what you were saying.